here to help me out. I'm going to need you to be as loud as you've been yet today. So how about it? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! 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 Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! That's what the hell I'm talking about. Thank you. Then. Now. Acknowledge me. The king of cake. You can't see me. Forever. Together. That was me at 2 a.m. this morning trying to watch this PLE pay-per-view, whatever you want to call it. But hey, this is your boy Miles Angel back to give another video, man. Um, man, dude, Elimination Chamber 2024. Um, you know, I appreciate these wrestlers for going all the way down to Australia. That's a long-ass flight. Um, I appreciate y'all entertaining us, man. I mean, look at this fucking shot of Perf back there, man. Like, this is a great picture. But, uh, yeah, man, I appreciate all these wrestlers for entertaining us, man. This show, in my opinion, was pretty mid. Pretty mid, but I appreciate all these wrestlers. I'm so happy for Rhea Ripley. So happy for Indy Hartwell. So happy for, like, um what's it called uh grayson waller having his show and everything man they got uh, i don't know if grayson waller got a big pop but rhea ripley indy hartwell got huge pops so happy for them man like this stadium is absolutely beautiful and uh yeah man like i'm i just this show uh yeah it's pretty mid i mean i don't think triple h really knows what he's doing i mean the show started off great you had becky lynch um you know, she she won the women's uh, elimination chamber. I mean, that match was that match was fucking awesome to start off. I'll say that that, that match was great. The pay per view started off great. Um, Tiffany Stratton got a huge pop. Um, I, I feel like Naomi. I think that was weird for her to get eliminated first, but whatever. Um, what's it called? I still feel like Raquel Rodriguez. I didn't even know she was in the match, to be honest. I still feel like she didn't even need to be in the match, but hey, Vegas can't be choosers, whatever. Um, Tiffany Stratton fucking had a home... I mean, dude, Tiffany Stratton is a beast. She's awesome. She's gonna be great. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they do Tiffany Stratton versus Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. And man, somehow they gotta do something with Liv Morgan. Maybe she'll turn little heelish in a way because when she eliminated tiffany you know the crowd wasn't too happy so uh yeah man i, I mean but becky lynch versus Rhea. i we like i said in my predictions i already knew it was kind of predictable that becky was gonna win they already been planning planting the seeds like especially at the press conference and everything and uh who bear with me man it's early morning but uh yeah like i i feel like they're gonna integrate uh what's her name Liv morgan into this and everything and you know we shall see what happens from there man but yeah i mean that women's elimination chamber match was fucking awesome becky versus Rhea is official for wrestlemania 40 and hopefully they make this build seem cool and you know they yeah triple h figures it out man because clearly he doesn't have wrestlemania figured out just watching this pay-per-view uh this shit felt like a glorified house show to me but uh yeah whatever judgment day versus tyler bait and uh pete dunn was a good match as well um i wish it had a better build dominic fucking 
He gets the loudest fucking heel pops I've probably ever heard in my life. He said, just came out and said they weren't piped in. Like, some niggas like Austin Theory, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I, the crowd, I'm so glad he gets these reactions. He's a, he's a great heel. Um, speaking of Judgment Day, oh man, they need to lose their title. The heels need to lose their titles at WrestleMania. I don't know what they're going to do uh, with their match. I don't know if they're going to do Awesome Truth versus Judgment Day. I mean... I mean, our truth is getting a huge pops right now himself. Uh, he's really over, but I mean, ah, uh, they need to split the tag titles after WrestleMania. I just like to say, I mean, I don't think they know. They really don't know how to book the tag division, and just having the Judgment Day hold two two of the belts is ridiculous to me. But yeah, I hope they lose them very very soon, dude. And Finn Balor, uh, I, I, man, did he fuck up his thumb, dude? His thumb was like. I don't know if it was bleeding or whatever. He, he was just selling really good. But, man, he's... Fuck, dude. His thumb looked nasty. Same with Randy Orton, man. I don't know if he got hurt his back or... He was selling real hard, but... Shit. I hope they feel better if they really is hurt. And if they're not really hurt, then, hey, man. Great fucking sellers. Great. That's what you guys do. The Cody Crybabies were in full effect in Perth, Australia. We had a Grayson Waller effect, man. Um... This shit irritated the fuck out of me because now we're getting this stupid ass tag team match at WrestleMania 40 with Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes challenging Roman Reigns and The Rock. Probably going to main event night one at WrestleMania when we could have. Oh, man, you fucking some of you fans, man, like we had a dream match in the palm of our hands. And you guys ruined it. Sure. Now we're getting the stupid tag match. Seth with Cody Rose and his little girlfriend, Seth Rollins. Dude, like, you got, like, another WrestleMania has been taken over by some stupid fans in the IWC. That's why I don't fuck with the IWC. I don't want to be considered a part of the IWC. I am my own wrestling fan. These motherfuckers, like, they they whine about shit like whine about something that makes sense cody rhodes and roman reigns the the story is over it was over after last year's wrestlemania i don't see why cody rhodes needs to finish his story at a wrestlemania he could finish it at fucking royal rumble go finish it at fucking survivor series last year SummerSlam. like dude you don't need to finish it at wrestlemania like, oh my goodness. Like, Undertaker and uh, fuck him, but Brock Lesnar. You know what I'm saying? Undertaker didn't get his payback on Brock till like SummerSlam in 2015. And Brock ended the streak. That's like Undertaker's story. Um, man, like I said before, Eddie Guerrero didn't win his first world title till like uh, No Way Out in San Francisco against that same dude, Brock Lesnar. Like, dude, why does he need to finish it at WrestleMania? But, like, Seth Rollins, like, I just want fans to know Seth Rollins looks like a bigger fucking idiot and a bigger sidekick than he's ever looked before. He's like that one guy that you just can't get away. He just won't go away and just won't go somewhere. Like, you don't need to be involved in all everything, dude. Like, you know, I, th this WrestleMania feels, it doesn't feel like WrestleMania. It doesn't feel like WrestleMania season. Triple H has botched the fuck out of this WrestleMania. I think we only have four confirmed matches right now. Um, maybe LA Knight and AJ Styles, which I really liked. But oh my goodness, man. Like these fans, we had a dream match in our hands. And now we're getting this stupid tag team match at WrestleMania. I mean, yes, I'm happy to see The Rock compete. But I wanted Rock and Roman. I think that's, the, that, that's WrestleMania more than Cody Rhodes and Roman right now. And damn sure more than Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, this is ridiculous. I ain't even gonna rant on this. I mean, I was right about the Grayson Waller effect. They're just gonna talk, probably set up this tag team match, and then Austin Theory's gonna come out and they're gonna whoop their ass. Like, you know, it's like, it's so predictable. This PLE was so predictable, man. Like, and these fans, have again took over like this is one of those moments where like i wish wwe would have been like you know fuck the fans uh, some of these fans opinions we're gonna go rock and roman because like that makes sense more than cody rhodes and roman reigns at wrestlemania this year like 
You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, if The Rock didn't come back, I wouldn't. I, you know, I would deal with the Roman Cody. I mean, I'm going to have to deal with it anyway. It's going to happen. But, like, Rock and Roman is the best. That's the dream match. That's the best match. And you guys all fucking know it. And we're getting this Cody Rhodes shit. And even if he wins, he's not going to get the same fucking pop as he was going to get at WrestleMania 40. I mean, at WrestleMania 39. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, man. Like, you know, Drew McIntyre won the fucking Elimination Chamber. Um, Rhea and Nia main evented. And, you know, that's your... And Rhea retained, and that's your pay, that's your PLE, man. This PLE, I, I mean, would you guys rewatch it? Would you guys rewatch it? I mean, I'm happy for Rhea. It was nice for her to main event. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be too negative, but, you know, Nia Jax main eventing a pay-per-view is insane to me, but whatever. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the comments. That was Elimination Chamber 2024, perf. Um, it was a glorified house show, glorified Raw to me. It started off great, ended the. So, you know, I, I I don't know what to say. We're getting this fucking stupid ass tag team match with Cody Rhodes and Seth versus Rock and Roman. Probably main event night one of WrestleMania 40. This might be the way that Rock, uh, the Rock, maybe betrays Roman or something and sets up a match for next year's Mania. But uh, who knows, man? I. I this WrestleMania season, it doesn't feel like it at all, dude. Um, it doesn't feel like it at fucking all, man. But, uh, you know, let, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Disagree, agree, whatever. I appreciate all you guys, my real yappers. Um, Yapper Nation, you feel me? Um, and we'll, 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 we'll see, man. We'll see what happens with this WrestleMania season. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.